Welcome to the channel, everyone. So I'm working away on this front axle, trying to get it to a point where I can paint it and get it back together. Uh, you can see I got something going on right here. And I kind of been playing with the idea of, of putting a, an axle truss uh, on, this, on this axle. Uh, kind of making one from scratch. Uh, thought it would kind of be maybe a fun little build. Um, it's not. It's not really a real axle truss because all I'm going to do is this part here. I'm not going to go uh, on this side of the leaf springs. So I'm just going to uh, just add something to the truck. Um, I know one thing is when you lift these trucks up a little bit and you can actually see the axles on these these half tons actually three quarter tons in this year too and you look in there and you see this little bitty axle tube and it just kind of to me it just looks a little wimpy i know it's just uh like it's just kind of really it's just a visual thing but like i said it'd be kind of a neat little build here so i think i'm gonna try to build me one. I got I got one built out of cardboard right now. It's kind of taped up. It's not exactly where I, I want it. Kind of playing with the design a little bit. Um, just kind of going over the, the center section there a little bit. And then it's going to probably tie into the, the leaf spring mount. This is why I had to mock it up to. is because I need to know where all this stuff is going so I don't stick something uh, and cause me a problem. But I pretty much got myself a, a pattern there. And the tape really isn't holding it where it needs to be. But I gotta do something. I gotta be able to get to that vent there. So I don't know what I'll do there. But first things first, I gotta go find some metal. I've got to uh, bend this up. We got a really nice bender. So, you know, why not use it? And then I might put some sort of a design. I'm just kind of playing with some, uh, some angles there. That might be too difficult to do. Uh, it might be easier for me to actually put round holes uh, in that, but we'll see. Like I said, first things first, I gotta get the, just the, the first bends here. Give my, make myself uh, like a C-channel type thing. This is actually three inches by three inches by three inches is what I ended up uh, going with. And it, it fits between uh, these U-bolts uh, and the perch there uh, really well and actually goes on the back side of the, the axle really well too. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna wing it here. We'll see what happens.
Okay guys, so I took my uh, C-channel basically that I made and I have been working on it, uh, shaping it, so it uh, looks like the pattern I made and also I've been sticking it on the axle to, to fit it. So it's got a nice uh, snug fit. Just kind of been sneaking up on it because I don't want to make a big gap that I got to do a whole bunch of welding. I think I've got it pretty much dialed in. I'm just doing a little bit of uh, touch up work here. So I'm going to go get it on the axle and we'll see how she fits. Okay, so there it's all fitted up. Fits everything, uh, it fits the axle pretty pretty well. So now the next thing I gotta do is I gotta figure out what kind of uh, design that I'm, I'm putting on there. Uh, I thought about going with circles so I just kind of put a pattern on here. And then I'll do some half circles here. So um, it can, stuff can drain out of there, spray it out or whatever. So it doesn't, uh, stuff doesn't sit on the inside of this. I have to do that front and back. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to weld it all the way across here. Uh, just, uh, you know, everywhere there's not a half circle, I'll, I'll run a bead of weld. But, yeah. I think it's uh, looking pretty good. I got to figure out a design and I'll show you, uh, I'll show you that next, I guess, once I figure out what I'm doing. Okay, so I've been working away here and my first design was, was circles. I had them draw it up. I wiped that away and kind of come up with a different design and I really liked it. So I, I cut it out and you can see I've got it cut out and I think it really looks really, it's a really nice design I think. Uh, I've got it cut out front and back. That bracket's almost, almost done. Still got to cut out some area uh, where the vent tube goes. But it really, it really lightened this bracket up. Uh, it's, it's eighth inch steel. I don't know if I mentioned that. So it's, it's not real thick, but it's thick enough metal. I mean, this is gonna, this is gonna probably add a little bit of strength. But if you was really doing an axle truss to run like 37 inch tall tires, um, probably, probably what I would do is I would probably add some stuff inside here, maybe. But like I said, I'm not doing this for, for strength wise. I, I'm really doing this uh, for the look here. So I had the 70 out the other day and you can see this, this part of the axle really well with a two and a half inch lift. So I decided to add a little matching piece on this side. Um, I still got to cut out the, the hole in the back. I was just kind of doing an experiment to see how I could cut that out and it worked so I got to do the back side. But yeah, it's uh, it's going pretty good I think. Uh, over here, I can't do anything over here because the steering arm uh, comes wraps around here and it goes right here. Um, you don't really notice that because of the steering arms there. You don't really notice the axle there so. I'm okay with that. Um, if I if I did the crossover steer conversion, I could I could add another piece just like this over here. And if I ever do the crossover steer uh, conversion, um, I can add it. I just I don't have an unlimited budget unlimited budget for this uh, project, so I can't do it right now. But and I'm almost ready to to weld these in. Now, the axle tube is just steel, I know that. I'm not exactly sure what the center section is, if it's cast steel or, or what. But I know they, there's like a certain way to weld that, I guess. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to take my little torch, I'm just going to kind of heat it up. 
and then uh, so I don't shock the metal with the with the weld and I'll give that a try see how that works I don't know if the weld if the welds are gonna crack or not but I mean if they do it's not a big deal I'm not if I was welding like a like a control arm uh, bracket or, or a, some sort of really uh, something that was holding the, the, the axle in then I would I would worry about it but I'm not worried about it with this axle truss um, I, I, I think I, I can weld that on strong enough that it ain't gonna it ain't gonna break but anyway yeah, I'll, sh I'll show I'll show you what happens uh, when I give it a try uh, I'm not exactly sure what these are made out of either these look like different type of things but I mean they got a weld right here all the way around it they've got welds in these holes here they didn't weld there but I mean you can you can weld on it but we'll see I guess okay so I got the axle all prepped you can see it's shiny uh, where I'm gonna <clears throat> where I'm gonna weld so all I'm left to do is to, to weld her on there I think I got everything straight where it's uh, straight enough for what this is so let's get this thing welded in Okay, so I got it all welded in. Well, for the most part, I gotta, when I take it out, I gotta get behind these uh, U-bolts and I gotta do a little bit of, a um, little bit of adding a piece under here. Um, I did have to notch this out, this area here to fit the sway bar. When I, when I mocked the sway bar up, it was gonna hit. So I had to do that. But for the most part, it's welded on. And I'm pretty happy with it. Um, had a little trouble with the welder at first. I must have bumped the wire speed or someone bumped the wire speed. And by the time I figured, out, figured that out, I already messed up a few of my welds, but it's all right, it's underneath the truck. Um, this, this didn't seem to mind being welded. This piece here, the center section uh, seemed like it didn't didn't like being welded, so I had kind of had to do some spots, spot welds on it, and uh, keep it going. But it seemed like once it warmed up, it, it did better. But it's all it's all cooled down now, and I don't see any of the I don't see any of the welds cracking on it. So I think I think we're going to be okay. Initially, I didn't think this was going to add a whole lot of strength to the axle, but actually it's it's probably adds a ton of strength to it. Even though it's not a complete it's not a complete axle truss all the way across. It's probably still going to add some strength. Probably don't need it. Uh I did think about uh going with 35s on the two and a half inch lift. Um, kind of big tires on a small lift, kind of a neat look, but I, I don't know. I only got the 308 gears in it, so the bigger the tires, the worse it's going to make that. But we'll see. I like it. I think it turned out awesome. I think it's going to look really good under there. Okay, so now that I've got this all welded up, 
and everything's uh, the way I want it here. I can take it off the frame. You gotta clean it up, paint it just like it did the rear axle so I can start assembling this. I think I got most of the pieces all ready to go. And I have all the parts, so it should go pretty quick. That will be the next video on this probably. So I guess guys, that's gonna do it for this one. I'll see you.